Error in CMOS. Bad checksum. Error in CMOS. Bad memory size. Error in CMOS. Bad time function. Check system, then press F1 key. Hmm. Looks like it's all there. Okay, don't look at any of that stuff. The quick clown box don't lace C dogs. Oh, alright. Just forget we ever tried that. Uh do we have windows? We do have windows. So, the obligatory win. We are greeted with Microsoft Windblows version 3.1. Wow. No networking. Well, I mean, it's it probably does, but you don't get the fancy utilities that are relatively useless in the modern age anyway. I like the uh, plain orange wallpaper. Novell Netware. Oh my goodness. Okay. Does the... I have to do this without a mouse because there is no mouse connected. So, let's see, we have applications. What is in applications? The working directory is invalid. Okay. DOS editor, netware pop-up. I have no idea what RF flow is and WNQVT net. I assume that's a terminal emulator. Ah, of which the working directory is invalid. Alright. Looks like we have a program called Stacker with a readme file. Let's read the readme file. Late breaking news. This document contains important information not included in the Stacker. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so here we are with a colored monitor. And while it is displaying colors, you can see that the color scheme is actually black and white. Now, actually, this is a terrible color scheme for this, in my opinion, because Windows 3.1 has a built-in color scheme that facilitates power saving and optimization for the plasma displays. So we're going to go to color, and then we're going to go down to plasma power saver. And as you can see, it's got some wild-looking colors when I have this plugged into a uh, color computer monitor, but let's focus our attention back over here for a second. And I'll hit the OK button. And as you can see, things uh, changed quite a bit. And actually, and I don't know if you can see this on camera really, but to me, they are more legible, which really helps. Uh, I can't remember if there's any other plasma themes. I don't think so. I think it's just the plasma power saver. It is. And then there's the LCD reversed light and dark hot dog stand actually looks pretty good here. Let's try hot dog stand just for gits and shiggles. Of course it doesn't look any different than what the color scheme was before. And for those of you wondering, hot dog stand looks like this on a color display. It's pretty wild. Alright, so we'll go back to the plasma power saver because that's what I have on the other machine that is now completely broken. And that's the control panel. And as you can see, the inner part of the window here is actually black. And so you get text, light text over a dark background which really makes a difference as far as a plasma display goes, at least on the old Toshibas here. So, as you can see, I can drop to DOS. And this really wasn't used for much more other than connecting to a Novell network nearest I can tell. Maybe, let's see. Accessories, games, here we go. Oh, we only got Solitaire and Minesweeper. I don't know if it's, oh wow, okay, it is possible to play Solitaire without a mouse. 
I didn't think it was. Somebody's obviously played this before because they have set it to uh, one card draw instead of three card draw. So that wasn't the default. I always put it to that as well. It's annoying having the three card draw. Anyway, Control F4 closes the... Oh, I guess I should tell you some of the shortcuts so you can move around Windows without a mouse. Well, Windows 3.1 anyway. So to switch... Actually, I guess I'll come up here because this is as ridiculous, but somehow easier. Uh, Control Tab in Program Manager allows you to switch between Program Manager groups, actually is what they're called, Progman groups. Not to be confused with Frogman. We can arrow around, back and forth, up and down, within the Program Manager group, and that allows you to select an icon, and then you can open the program, and you can Alt-Tab to switch between programs. If you continue holding down Alt, you can view what program it is, and then hit Tab, and you can read what other programs there are, so that works in Windows 3.1. Uh, Control F4, uh, or I'm sorry, Alt F4 closes the open program. Control F4 closes the open program group. Um, same goes for like your web browser if you have multiple tabs open. Uh, Control F4 will close the uh, open tab within your web browser. Anyway, that's the end of Windows and sadly this laptop fully works so now I would feel completely bad taking apart. So now I have a perfectly good working Toshiba 5200 and a completely broken T3200SX with an SSD custom BIOS and a nice network card. Oh man. How long has this been out of focus? Got a fan on this side. And two fans on this side. Sudas clearly had a hand in this. Hello and welcome to another episode of Will It Clean? You should probably never spray things directly on a computer, just letting you know. I have a bad habit of that anyway. Do as I say, not as I do. A lot of dust in the keys too. We're gonna have to give it a thorough blowjob.